coming to what are the different types of radiation treatment earlier days the radiation treatment was given with the conventional treatments that means the treatment area is covered from two sides or from three sides or from four four sides in the conventional treatment what happens is along with the tumor the surrounding normal structures will also get the same dose so with that we are giving a radiation unnecessarily to the surrounding structures but in those days due to lack of a technology or the software availability or the using of the computers so that was the treatment of choice in those days now with the availability of the newer technology newer machines using the ct scans mri pet scan and computers in the radiation treatments lot of new developments have occurred this has happened in the last one one and a half decades and then the the radiation has seen a a sea change in the delivery of the treatments so with the newer treat treatments we call the conformal treatments that means you are conforming the radiation treatment to the target areas and then we are reducing the dose to the normal structures so in this one what we do is we do a planning ct scan on the ct scan and sometimes if required the mri and the pet scans are done in that one we identify the target area of the tumor and then the risk areas and also we uh, contour the normal structures and when we have done this we give a prescription of different dose for the tumor and then the risk areas and the normal structures when it is calculated on the computer already a programmed software will be there from the software the from the software programmed software the radiation calculations will be done and then once it is done we will evaluate what we thought whether it has happened or not and then if there are any changes again we'll be asking for a recalculation and then we'll finally evaluate and see whether the normal structures are within the normal limits and for for this type of treatments we have the intensity modulated radiation therapy and then the rapid arc or the vmat and then the single treatments like the srs they are called the stereotactic radiation therapy the other treatments are called the respiratory position management there are some structures which are moving with the respiration like the lung tumors the liver tumors so when you want to give a radiation you need to give a bigger area to include the respiratory movement so to avoid that you can use a four dimension ct scan with that you know how much the tumor is moving and then you give only that margin so that you are reducing the normal structures coming into the treatment field so that you are getting a cure and at the same time the less toxicity the same way use the breath hold that's i, I give an example when we use the breath hold for the left sided breast cancers when a patient takes a deep breath the heart will be pushed down and it will be away from the radiation field so the patients will not have a a car radiation induced cardiac toxicity at a later uh, date so for to have this type of treatments one need to have an uh, image guided radiation therapy what is meant by image guided uh, guided radiation therapy is you plan you are planning using the ct scan and then you are planning and then when actually it comes on to the uh, deliver of the treatment patient may not be lying in the same position so we verify the patient position on the treatment couch uh, for that you are using imaging so that's why it is called a image guided radiation therapy in this one you use the x-rays or the ct scan so it's uh, that's why it is called a, an image guided radiation therapy this type of treatments are done to have a an accurate and a precision treatments